Hey, it's Jerry. Today, I'm at Sunnyvale Baylands Park, and I'm really excited I get a chance to meet with Mario Fraioli. He's an Olympic coach and author of the official Rock and Roll Training Guide. Uh, we're going to talk about race day nutrition, and he's going to run around the park a little bit with me. All right, everybody, you ready? Let's go. I'm Mario Fraioli, senior editor at Competitor Magazine, author of the official Rock and Roll Training Guide for Marathon and Half Marathon. Hey Mario. Hey Jerry, how are you? I'm good. Good. I'm good. Yeah, I was very excited to meet Mario Fraioli. I mean, he wrote the book on training for the Rock and Roll Marathon and Half Marathon. Uh, today I brought some cups, water, and sports drink with me. We're going to set up a mock aid station uh, where we're going to practice actually grabbing cups and running through the aid station as he will be doing at Las Vegas this November. The three main things Jerry and I talked about today in regard to his race day strategy are number one, not to do anything different on race day that he would do in training, and that goes you know, for nutrition and hydration, but also for you know pacing and his normal race day routine. Number two is when you're going through the water station, it's important to make eye contact with one of the volunteers so that they know that you're coming. Uh, establish that connection with them first and then just to slow down as you're going through, make sure that you're getting as much of that drink down as you can uh, as you're passing through the water station. You know, and then the third thing that we talked about was just to make sure that he goes into the race, you know, well fueled, that his gas tank is topped off, and that during the race he's mainly just trying to, you know, sustain his energy levels. Yeah, so obviously a cup has an open top to it, so you want to grab the top and I say crush it or pinch it so that you're essentially closing it. And some water is going to get out, but it should be very minimal, but you're holding a lot of it in there, and then you, what you do is you create almost like a small funnel for yourself to drink out of and it's just a lot easier than trying to you know get what you know get water down your throat and, and ending up with it all over your face. You know it's not as easy to grab that cup and go as it might look you know and uh, I got the crush technique down now and I'm gonna be using that when I go to Vegas. Oh yeah, the water got all over me, but I mean, you know, part of that feels good anyhow, but you know, it just shows that practice on these things is super important. So when you get to race day and you got nerves and everything else, that you're gonna feel confident that you can just step up, grab that thing, sip and go. Nice work, Jerry, you are a pro at grabbing water. Hey, it's my pleasure to be here. Great to help you out today, and I'm happy to help you moving forward. I wanna give you a little guide official rock and roll training guide which awesome. I recently wrote. Uh, this is for you to keep. Just use this as your reference. Talks, you know, covers a lot of things that we talked about today. Yeah. Best advice I can give Jerry is advice that he's already taking is to enjoy the process. You know, this is for him and, and a lot of new runners, this is a transformation. Jerry's become a runner over the last year and there are a lot of steps in that process. You know, not to just becoming a runner but making it a part of your lifestyle. And he's committed to that now and it's something that, you know, I encourage him and other new runners just to enjoy as you're going along more than anything else. You're gonna learn new things about, yes, you know, running and, and racing, but you learn a lot of new things about yourself as well. And you know, that's a lot of fun and that's something that you should try to enjoy every day.